unlike a lot of the other talks, this is a pep talk. This is entirely geared to making you all feel good about yourselves. So you should really take this to heart. Last year I talked about why startups fail. This year is going to be a lot more uplifting. So I promise nothing more than you'll walk out of here feeling good about yourselves. Um, and this is really the truth. You know, you really are as smart enough and good enough and doggone it people do like you. Um, but I mean that very seriously because what's happening is you all in this crowd, the WebOps crew, is at the core of a revolution in IT infrastructure that is going to be massive. So for me, I'm an investor, Amplify Partners. We only back technical founders doing infrastructure startups. I'm lucky enough to be working with a bunch of the people in this audience. Um, but this story goes back to 1998. And in 1998, I spent all my time trying to figure out where IT infrastructure was going. And to do that, I talked to the smartest, most sophisticated, well-heeled users in the entire world to find out what they were doing. And that invariably was New York. I spent all my time in New York. Um, Wall Street had the money, they had the brains, they had the business need. That is where infra IT infrastructure was decided. Um, CIO of Goldman, CTO of Mer Merrill Lynch, the head of Bear Stearns. I spent tons of time with these people to figure out where it was going. Because whatever they did, invariably two years later, the rest of the world did. Um, and this Wall Street to Main Street transition, well, you can set your watch by it. And it was the absolute clear-cut way to figure out where IT infrastructure was going. But along the way, something happened in the industry, which was a bunch of big IT vendors figured this out. And big IT came to dominate pretty much off of the back of figuring out what New York wanted and then knowing exactly what the rest of the enterprise world needed. And Microsoft, Cisco, IBM, Oracle, you know, you name it, a trillion dollars of value was built on solving what I called old IT problems. Thousands of users, local networks, a couple of applications, relatively um, scaled up infrastructure you gotta manage. These are not terribly complicated problems, but they were the old problems. But something interesting happened in the last 10 years, and it's where this whole audience comes in, is the problems changed. And the problems changed to solving things for millions of users, and global access, and unreliable networks, and data centers you don't own. And the big companies just kind of missed that. They missed that there's a totally different group of people. And this group of people didn't want to spend as much money, and they didn't want to go in for a billion dollar, you know, million dollar price points and take two years to get up the curve. And so they failed. They failed to deliver anything that anybody in this audience really needs to do their job. And that was a serious shortcoming. And when that happened, it created this moment of opportunity. And this moment of opportunity that comes once every generation. And what people did is they did out of necessity what they always have to do, which is they rolled up their sleeves and they delivered. And people who ran websites and ops folks and devs delivered probably the most radical shift in technology that we've seen in a generation, and they did it in five years. Think about how the IT stack has turned over in the last five years. And it was all done off the backs of these projects, these users, these individuals. And that's meaningful and it's important. But why does it matter to you guys? So where, does this, where is the pep talk? The pep talk is, is you did that. For years and years and years, IT innovation has been driven by large product vendors. And when it hasn't been large product vendors, it's been people quitting other product vendors to start new product companies. What we just saw in the last generation, what's going to go on for the next 10 years, is that this crowd is defining where IT infrastructure is going. This is a really powerful thing. And I know this because you're sitting out there. All of these people on this list who started these companies did not have a job shipping product before. They ran sites. And this is a small list. These are just some of the people that I backed. So how does this relate to you? What should you do? First off, build it. If you've got a problem, write the code, solve it. Don't look for somebody else to do it. Then use it. Dog food it. Make sure your peers use it. Document it. Turn it into an open source project so other people can improve it, share it, move it around, see if it works. Ship it. Will somebody pay for it? And then you know what? If it's really working, go for it. Start a company. You have everything it takes right now to change the IT infrastructure. And with all res respect to Phil Knight, this is the time. Just do it. You guys know what you're doing. This is the time. People like us are around to help you. This is once in a generation thing. Good luck.